My name is Alicia and I am data scientist at Unite. And I'm most engagement director at Unite. So there has been a lot of noise recently about all these generative models, open AI services, and especially ChatGPT. We have seen lots of interesting examples from creating news pieces to writing code with little instructions given. Despite that, we are still to see integration of such services into industry and business applications for clients. Recently, Microsoft announced the integration of OpenAI models into its Azure ecosystem. This helps building industry-grade application integrated with OpenAI offerings. In Unite, we are keen to integrate this recent advancement to empower our clients. In today's demo, we are going to show you how to integrate the Azure Cognitive Search with Azure Speech and the new Azure OpenAI service. We will also show you how you can use it to speed up the retrieval of information across vast amounts of unstructured data and summarize the key insights to accelerate decision making. Today's demo is in medical domain, specifically extracting insights and answers from PubMed articles, a source of scientific publications. Nevertheless, any other data source can be attached to the application, whether it's internal and private, or external and public, or a combination of both respecting privacy. Well, without further ado, Alicia, let's jump to the demo first. We will now show you first a brief example, then the architecture behind the tool, and finally a detailed example. Let's try what is the relationship between obesity and kidney disease. What is happening in the background is we are indexing PubMed articles and we are using this query to find the relevant articles using cognitive search semantic search. After that, we use that content to create the proper answer to the question using OpenAI services on Azure. Let's see how the results look like. So here we go. As you can see, we have a summary generated from the abstract of the relevant articles with references provided for each piece of information. Also, we extract exact pieces from the articles using the semantic search functionality and also create a summary from these extractions. If I click on one of the references, you can see that we have the article here and we have access to the abstract and we can link it to the source document. Our application is built on top of the Azure stack. Any desired data source, in this case PubMed, can be used using a data connector to be sourced and indexed inside Azure Cognitive Search. After that, you can use either a text input or your voice which can be converted to text using Azure Speech to feed the application about the desired question. This then can be used as a query to find the relevant articles using Cognitive Search, and then we filter the semantic results and answers and create a prompt for the OpenAI service on Azure to get a summary of insights, including references. It's quite important to do proper prompt engineering and fine tuning on top of the Azure OpenAI model. Let's look at another example. Here the question is, what's the role of MRAs in the treatment of CKD type 2 diabetes patients? As you can see, we have a summary of the abstract of the relevant articles with references and also exact pieces extracted. It's quite important to do model fine tuning or prompt engineering or both to reduce the chance of hallucination which means we want both the pieces of information and the references to be correct. Nevertheless, these are probabilistic models and we can impact the probability of hallucination to be lower, but we cannot completely eliminate it. For this part of the demo, we have restricted our data source to only nephrology related articles. So what happens if we ask a question which is not part of this context? Let's try what is ADHD? If you ask such a question from the typical GPT models, they will try to answer this question based on the material they have been trained on. But in our case, we expect to get no answer, and this is the proper behavior that is happening. That is the end of the demo for today. Thank you for being with us. We would be very happy to help you integrate OpenAI services into your applications. Reach us for the link provided below the video.